Previously on Drake Paragon. Everything on deck is stowed. It's 17 knots, 20 knots of true wind speed, 35 knots, and the fog is building. Can't see anything, and everything's basically rotten around here. Going back into this anchorage that we left from this morning. This could be a problem. I think that's a nice bird. It's a bird you did, but it's huge. I think he's gonna come right on top of us. Probably weighs more than Paragon. and it came about three feet away from there. Wow, well, I think he's out of our clear now. Yeah. It tells you how quickly they're moving. Now it's fastest. I think we can keep watch, but we can relax just a little bit more knowing that it's behind us. All right. Yeah, he's going to ground himself right over there. Like 20, 25? Yeah. Uh, instruments are on. Yeah, good guess. 23.8. The base group was nearly going into the water when nothing was going by. Really? That would be extremely bad. Then we've got that one iceberg off of Port Bell all the way on the land there. He may be grounded there, but he's definitely huge. Those guys, I think, just kind of bounce off us. Yeah. The way things are going, we're kind of moving with the waves and things are just getting brushed off us. Your hands are shaking. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's a little cool, but... It's a little cool. That bird came so close to the anchor road 
and it's got sharp edges. I think it would have cut the rope. It just barely missed the bow. Yeah. Like it was over there, and I was gonna push it off to the port side, but then it just moved right under the bow sprit. At nightfall, it's gonna be a lot harder to see. Yacht radio okay. on 16, maybe with the engine running and the additional voltage, it'll get through to them and they can advise on whether we can get to the weather station. The weather station's only 15 miles, we can make that in three hours. Yeah, the winds are out of the north, okay, north, northeast, okay, so we could sail it. I mean, because it's, it's a sailable path with northeast winds. Radio, sailing vessel Paragon, 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 channel 16, over. Three choices. One is to stay here and hand off the ice that's blowing towards us because we have northerly winds. We're in the southern end of this little bay, so they're all coming down this way. Leave in the morning, hopefully the weather would be better. Or number two, we can motor or motor sail in 25 knots to the weather station, making it there in probably three hours and trying to tie up at whatever dock they may have there. Or three, turn back the way we came and go to that little town. Of the three possibilities, I'm sort of leaning more towards going to the weather station probably safer than staying here, I think. Approach with care as rocks lie off the west end, relatively exposed to the long fetch down the sound in westerly winds, but we don't have westerly winds, it's out of the northeast. The jetty has been extended, leaving less room and little margin for error. If the harbor is encumbered with ice, it is possible to lie in the small gut to the northeast of the fuel tanks with lines to ring bolts. I think the anchor's holding well. I'm not concerned about us dragging, I'm just concerned about us getting hit by an iceberg. I heard from the Spanish guy, Vincent, and from snow dragon that the anchorage to the north of the station is very good very sheltered as well so if the weather station didn't work out for anchoring or coming alongside that we could go to the north and if that didn't work out we could come back here so this could be our fall back station we have to go now yeah have you found that anchorage on the turn corner in the north of the, the north weather station? station or, uh, or the north of the weather station it is on the, the bay so oh that, there really the, yeah so that's the weather station there, but this is here. So if we have northeasterly winds. Yeah, 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 we yeah. Can. Wow, look at that. So you've got in 25 meters. That's perfect. Because if we have possible ice coming in the northeast yeah, direction, yeah. we'll be um, coming here. Is there any des description of that anchorage in here? What's it called? I, 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 I
it's not, uh, nope, not here. Snow Dragon said it's a good one, huh? Yeah, okay. Snow Dragon and the, the Spanish guy, uh, Vincent. Two o'clock now, yeah. so we'll be there three, four, five o'clock, yeah. five thirty. Yeah. So Even if we leave right now, there isn't enough time to get back here. Because it'll be like nine o'clock when we get back here. Yeah. Nine, ten o'clock, you know. Won't, won't work. We have to make that anchorage work. Yeah. Or the weather station. So two things, you know. Okay, let's go! <laughs> okay, radar set. Airplutters set. Engines run. Turn pressure is good. The motor torques in the air a little bit and then run up and the bring it. Motor forward and a little bit to port, I'll be right back. It's a little blue iceberg. I'm gonna go back and go towards the little blue iceberg. <laughs> as much as I get. That's really dug in. Okay. icebergs upwind of us. So behind us here is the glacier and I think the wind that we're experiencing at the moment is the wind coming down off it and making for the weather station. So Drake is just on the anchor at the moment and we're going east. Okay, let's get out of here. Ooh. Top blast of 30 knots. 30 knots. On this point of sale, I think the chase will help us a lot. Not only will it increase our speed, but it will steady the movement of the boat. Uh, it'll be more comfortable ride. If there's any problem, we just furl it. It takes like a second. Okay. I was having second thoughts about staying, but it's just no knowing, you know? The ice is going to get worse. All that tension on the acre road, that was unbelievable. I keep thinking of what I read in the cruising guide that Greenland has some of the most dangerous cruising sailing grounds in the world. And this whole time I was thinking, no, oh, it hasn't really been that hard. You know, but this has been the first, like, holy moly situation we've gotten into here. Going through the iceberg fields offshore felt very manageable, but being trapped in a little acreage right off a glacier in strong wind with icebergs breaking off and coming straight downwind at you. That was 
something a little challenging <laughs> to, uh, to figure out and deal with. But I'm glad the winds are in our favor. Maybe now that we're out of the Anchorage and more into open space, they'll be able to hear us better on the radio. Prince Christian Sound Weather Station. Sailing vessel Paragon, Paragon, Paragon Channel 09, over. Mountains, mountains, mountains. Wind in the nose, icebergs ahead. So according to the chart, bearing that way, we have a big glacier that comes right to the water. Maybe that's where that iceberg came from. Do you think it broke off of the glacier right in Prince Christian Sound, or has it been riding, riding down Prince Christian Sound and it entered it from the eastern opening? Radio Paragon 16, thank you, over. 
and growlers, they get pooped out by that thing, and then they run down Prince Christian Sound. That's a small glacier, so, you know, you wouldn't get any enormous icebergs coming out of it, but certainly get a lot of uh, bergy bits out of it. Welcome to Prince Christian Sound on this very windy day, 25 knots, uh, coming from directly ahead. Big iceberg on the port side. about to approach a proper ice field. It's the exit of a glacier here. This stuff is all very, very small, but I may need to slow down just to, to push through it, stick to the windward side of the big bits, and then just work, work my way through the little ones. So I've reduced speed. We're passing through the very, very smallest of these right now. I'm sure you got to get this on time lapse, so I'm gonna just circle. It's all right, listen, I'm gonna circle, so take your time. Oh, uh, hello. Hey, right, we got a helicopter, Drake. What? We got a helicopter. So we were just uh, circled by a helicopter twice. When we're in this part of the world, he's probably wondering, were we okay? We didn't give any signals to say that we needed help. I wonder if he's going down to the weather station. So we're just going slow through the ice now. 
That's all good. Drake's just shaking out commands, and I just I'm just following them because uh, I can't really see. It's, there's no visibility right in front of the boat because it's dinghy. Uh, hard port, hard port, hard port, quick! Hard port. Ow. East Greenland ice. It's coming into the fjord. Just trying to get through it now. But this could go all the way up to the weather station. Check it out, have a look around. Just go slow! Nice and slow, we're probably gonna hit stuff. A uh, hard port! 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 I see a channel there! Yeah! Right! There! Lock it! We have a lot of big chunks of ice here. We don't want to hit any of them. 